Hi everyone, this is Catherine with Keep It Simple Social Media and today I'm going to show you how to import an uh, Excel spreadsheet full of information like email database or if you have um, customers information with their first name, last name, addresses and so on into Facebook to create a custom audience. Why would you do such a thing? Well, if you have a pretty serious email database, say over a thousand emails, you can do it with a smaller one, but say you have a big one, it's, it is, you know they're warm leads, they're people that are interested in your business already. So if you want to bring them over to Facebook, Facebook will match the email name and information with Facebook profile, so you'll be able to create ads that will target specifically people that um, were on that list. So you can create really a customized ad just for those people, that would be seen just for those people. Now, either you have a list, an Excel sheet, um, already saved on your desktop or you have all your emails kept on MailChimp because you send a newsletter and this is where all your emails are sitting. In Facebook to create a custom audience you can actually link MailChimp to Facebook but I've found that it's glitchy. We have found that it's glitchy. So this is the way around it. If you want to get your emails from MailChimp, you open mail, your MailChimp account, MailChimp account, you go under list, then you'll see a different list. You click on the list and then you click export list and it's going to export it as a CSV file, a comma separated value file. And this file here is something that you're going to um, have you open the little folder and then you will see, I've already done this, but you'll see um, an Excel sheet here. So this is my Excel sheet. If I was more diligent in MailChimp, I would put like first name, last name, I would have all this information. But in this case, I only have my email addresses, which is fine. It's just harder for Facebook to make a match. So I'm going to make sure there's nothing funny showing up and all right so I name it say email and okay so I have this file here ready to go now I go to ads manager and you start with ad manager you go in as if you were creating an ad so I can go here and say I'm gonna create for example a traffic ad you could also go into this little sandwich here and all tools and create your audiences this way but I just like to keep it super simple and I go here like I was creating an ad Cre I choose my campaign name my objective and then on the ad set level when I get into the audience it's gonna ask me to create either use the save audience or create a new audience and this is where you create new custom audience this is a new look, we're March 15, 2019. It didn't used to look that way, but I kind of like this new look because if you see on this side here, it tells you what you need. So on the top, it tells you a description of what the different sources um, are and what you need. So for website traffic, if you want to create an audience of your website visitors, you need to have captured a Facebook pixel. What do you need? You need a Facebook pixel and it tells you at the bottom right that you need a Facebook pixel. So it tells you what you need. In this case, and, and look at this, inter, Instagram business profile, you can create an audience of people who visited or interacted with your profile or add on Instagram. Like this is really good for remarketing, right? In this case, we're looking at a customer file and it says needs CSV or TXT file. Great, we have one. You click here. And this is where it says you can import straight from MailChimp. Try it, it's not working for us. So, but we're going around it by using a file that doesn't include LTV. And then you go here and see it gives you the different um, columns. So email, phone number, date of birth, and it tells you how you should have it set up. So I found that what works best is you have each column written exactly as Facebook wants it written email and then you have the example here phone number it tells you how to write it down first name and you know it tells you how to put it up so you create you clean up your file to make sure it's facebook friendly so here see how i say email it says 
just the right email and then the email of the person. So I know this is what I have. Now select the origin of this upload. So this is directly for my customers and I have a feeling this is for kind of safety to make sure that um, you have, you really do have access and the right to use those emails. So you go here, you upload your file. Which one is your file? Well, I've, cl I've called it clean lists list. <laughs> so this is my little file. I don't have that many emails like 450 I think but it's a start or you can also copy and paste the information you name your audience so I'll leave it as that clean list actually I'm gonna put MailChimp because those are my MailChimp um, emails you have to be super nerdy about naming everything right so it doesn't get confusing once you fill those three directly from customers clean list um, uploaded your file and then name your audience then this blue button is going to show up if you haven't filled up all this it's not gonna show up so you click next and preview and map your data so this is email phone number so on so I say okay this is email these are the emails of the person upload and create um, and so it's uploading now, there's always some entries couldn't be used and this is okay because um, not every single email is going to be perfect, so don't worry too much about that. And then these are your next steps. So what you can do from there is create an ad or create a lookalike audience, but I'm not going to go into this right now. I'm just going to show you done and then see what happens here. I have a custom audience that's called MailChimp emails and then I could just go I know these are the MailChimp emails um, that I've imported and it's my new list that match Facebook Facebook accounts and then I would go this would be my um, I start with the emails I would add more information and then I could save this audience so since audience I can name it MailChimp and save all right this is where <clears throat> your audience is saved now if you want to take this to the next step this is going to be your you know the email database that we created i've called it mailchimp emails what you can now do is create a lookalike audience so we went from um, an excel spreadsheet with the list of emails and name and addresses possibly of people that have interacted with your business. You've collected those emails. You've entered them into Facebook. Facebook matched some customer profile with Facebook profile and created a really targeted audience for you. Now, how about you say, okay, well, Facebook, can you find me people that look alike those same people? I wanna reach people that have the same interests, the same demographics. Facebook's gonna say, okay, sure, let's do this. So how to do that? You're going to create new, look-alike audience so originally we did a custom audience with our emails then you go into look-alike audience and this gets a little bit tricky because it says select an existing source you have to go into other sources and as you scroll down you're going to see all sorts of different stuff and then you're going to see your original list that i i've saved um, mailchimp emails so i want to say okay well i want people say i could say in british columbia Oh, it's in Canada, so I keep Canada. It keeps it really um, wide, so countries. And then I say a lookalike audience, 1%. So I want, depending the size of the audience that you want to reach, I want about 235 people. So that's my estimated reach. So Facebook is create. I think this is like really trippy. This is great for marketing. So Facebook is creating a lookalike audience out of 1% of everyone in Canada that could reach um, the same criteria that match the same criteria of the audience that you have. And then you create this audience. And now you're going to see, you're going to now have an audience that's going to be um, can create a duplicate. You already created a lookalike audience with the same source. Oh, I've already created that, but this is how you would go about it. I already have this this audience created, and then you would find it here, my lookalike audience. Well, you can save it a different way, but this is how you could create this, and it's a really powerful tool when you think about it, because not only can you remarket the people on your email database, but you can create an audience that have, of people that have similar interests 
and might be interested in your products or services. So that's that. If you have any questions at all, please go on our Facebook page at Keep It Simple Social Media and ask your question directly on our page. We'll be happy to answer you at any time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.